Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. And welcome aboard. This is your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day. On the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that healing regenerating renewing system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health nutrition prescription drugs the longevity product skin health issues something you may have heard about or read about that you want clarification on something in this crazy wild sometimes complicated world of nutrition and health we can help you out. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or bone broth protein, we had a great conversation with Jordan Rubin yesterday. If you missed it, head over to Ben Fuchs Archives or brightsideben.com and check it out. If you have questions about the bone broth protein, and, and by the way, if you've ordered the bone broth protein, we're actually on back order already. I didn't anticipate the kind of response. I should have, but I didn't anticipate the kind of response we got yesterday. So uh, we are on back order for a couple of days. You can find out all about the bone broth protein at brightsidehealthproducts.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team and start a longevity business, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com, and you could sign up right off the website and purchase longevity products right off the website as well. Okay, so I want to return to our discussion on the ketogenic diet. Yesterday we talked about bone broth protein, and bone broth protein plays a seriously important role when it comes to leveraging or exploiting the power of the ketogenic diet. But the ketogenic diet is basically high fat, low carb. That's really what we're talking about. High fat, low carb. This is something that we've been talking about on this program, and I've been talking about in my presentations and to, to patients for decades. And today we call it the ketogenic diet, or today it's becoming known as the ketogenic diet. Low, uh, high fat, low carb, which in my opinion is the ultimate anti-aging, disease preventing dietary strategy that you could ever use, flat out. The ketogenic diet is the most powerful way to eat for anti-aging and for staying healthy. The ketogenic diet acts to alleviate the symptoms of pretty much every single degenerative disease you can name. If you have a degenerative disease, then you can pretty much rest assured that you're going to benefit by going high fat, low carb. As long as you do it correctly, and that's what we've been talking about here for, for a couple of weeks, a couple of months really, is how to do it correctly. It's not as simple as, as high fat, low carb. That's basically it, but there's some things that you got to know about. The ketogenic diet provides the body with, this is this how it works. It provides the body with energy independent of sugar. Sugar is the bad guy here. To derive energy from sh uh, to, to derive energy or to to generate energy independent of sugar is a powerful health strategy. To derive energy independent of sugar and insulin, which are the two major factors that are involved in the inflammatory process, along with the digestive system. Between the digestive system and the blood sugar system, you got the two major factors that are involved in all inflammatory disease, which is to say all chronic degenerative disease. I don't care if it's Parkinson's or cancer, or if it's acne or arthritis. If it involves degeneration where the body doesn't get better, You've got inflammation, and where you have inflammation, you've got a digestive health problem, and you've got a blood sugar problem. And folks, it really is as simple as that. You can throw in the adrenal thyroid link, which is important, 
but even prim primal to the adrenal thyroid thing, hypothyroidism and, and adrenal fatigue, even primal to that, even before that, you've got the digestive system and the blood sugar system, the ketogenic diet, uh, allows you to get energy without tweaking, without messing around with uh, the blood sugar system. It's a fat burning, uh, fat burning energy deriving system. Where it becomes a little tricky is when it comes to the subject of protein. Yesterday we talked a lot about protein, bone broth protein. And while it's true that protein plays a key role in health, when it comes to ketogenesis, the amount of protein that we eat is something we got to pay attention to. And that's because protein, which is obviously important, our bodies are made up of protein. If you eat too much of it when you're trying to lose weight or when you're trying to generate ketones, you may be disappointed because protein is at least partially anti-ketogenic. The body can turn protein into sugar. It can turn it into carbs and ultimately it can turn it into fat. And that's the real problem with the Atkins diet. And also for people who are doing paleo this and paleo that, if they're not, physically active. If you're not using that protein, there's a good chance that protein is going to wind up on your butt. That protein is going to get turned into fat. And that's why you got to be careful with, uh, with protein, especially if you have some kind of digestive health issue and you're not processing your protein correctly. So uh, most of us, especially as we're aging and, and particularly if we're dealing with a degenerative disease, have to be really, really careful with how we utilize the ketogenic diet and how we incorporate protein into it. Excessive protein in the absence of, of growth, in the absence of exercise, in the absence of movement or activity, or somehow uh, enhancing the biochemistry of using protein is not a good thing. Too much protein without using it is not a good thing. And it's gonna interfere with ketogenesis. And by the way, that's true about calories. Going ketogenic, high fat, moderate protein, low carb is not a reason to go high calorie. Cal caloric restriction is always important. The less we eat, the longer we live, as long as we're getting nutriated. Calories represent heat, calories represent work, calories represent a, 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 a shunting of resources, a, a, a redirection, a reallocating of nutritional resources towards digestion, not in our interest to do that. It really comes down to that when you think about it. Do you want to use your nutrients for to be creative? Do you want to use your nutrients to build muscle? Do you want to use your nutrients for uh, uh, fighting disease or for immunity or for repair? Or do you want to use your nutrients to digest your food? You know what I'm saying? This is why every study that's ever been done on uh, caloric restriction shows that the less you eat, the longer you live because those, cal those nutrients are not being redirected to your digestive system. They're going to your brain and to your muscle to your heart and to your organs, not to digestion. So the less you eat, the longer you live. And that's true if you're going ketogenic. The less you, less calories you eat, if you're going ketogenic, the better off you're gonna be. If we, if we eat as much as we want, I, let me rephrase that. If we eat as much as our brain wants, because that's where we're eating from. When we overeat, we're eating from our brain, not our body. So when we listen to our brain, we'll never stop eating. The brain is never satisfied. You know, if you're eating because you're thinking that you want to eat, then you're eating for your thoughts and thoughts are never satisfied. You can think that that's why we want dessert, even though we were completely full after a meal. That's why sometimes we're done, at, we're done eating and an hour later we're looking for more food. At least one of the reasons is because we're eating for thoughts. We're eating for our minds. We're eating for our brains rather than for our bodies. So, and this is where uh, eating too many calories comes from. So. As far as caloric restriction goes, as far as uh, calories go, caloric restriction is always the way to go. And if you're going ketogenic, caloric, caloric restriction is going to enhance ketogenesis. Ketogenesis plus caloric restriction. That's what we're looking for if we want to leverage the power of the ketogenic diet. So to simplify here, the ketogenic diet, ketogenesis, making ketones is the product of fat burning. It's about teaching the body to use fat. And this takes a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. The body's got to shift over into keto burning, and in the meantime, you might not feel so great. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back right after this. We're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you if you have questions about anything we're talking about today, ketogenesis. If you have experiences with the ketogenic diet, we'd love to hear that. 
or if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the Ingevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just active and functional ingredients. That's all you're paying for when you use our Truth Skin Health products, and that's why our products last for months, and that's why you get results pretty darn quickly, results like softer, smoother skin, results in the health of the skin as well as in the appearance of the skin, and in short order, typically within just a couple of doses. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so the ketogenic diet, make it ketones. We're teaching the body how to burn fat instead of sugar. And in order for this to occur, fat has to be present without sugar. It's the combination of these two factors that gives you the ketogenesis. Proteins are tricky. You want protein, you need protein, but you gotta be careful. Bone broth protein, as we said yesterday, is particularly important and helpful if you're going ketogenic. If you're going ketogenic, you gotta be careful the type of protein you're using and this is something really interesting that we talked about yesterday, and you get the interview at, Brightside, at brightsideben.com on the archive page, or also benfuchsarchives.com uh, on the archive page. Uh, we talked about something very interesting yesterday, and that is the distinction that is not often made between the meat and the bone, the flesh and the bone. The flesh has a different amino acid profile than the bone does. And under ordinary circumstances, we would be eating under healthful circumstances, under our indigenous evolutionary circumstances, we would be eating both the bones and the meat. Today, we just eat the meat. And this gives us a different amino acid profile that's not necessarily in our interest. This gets to, uh, into the subject of methionine toxicity and methionine balancing. Methionine is an amino acid that's found in the flesh, and it's, uh, too much of it is not necessarily a good thing. However, when it's balanced with the appropriate amino acids that you get in cartilage, then you can get some serious benefits. You get a full rounded amino product, and you also get glucosamine and chondroitin, these things that uh, are used for, uh, to treat arthritis and, and for wound repair, they can help improve the body's ability to down-regulate fat uh, sugar burning, to get, to get more energy from ketones. In other words, the glucosamine in the bone broth is pro-ketogenic. All glucosamine is pro-ketogenic. So the ketogenic diet is really a high-fat diet, but you gotta be careful with the protein and you got to make sure that your high fat is in the presence of low sugar. If you're trying to lose weight and you're doing the paleo thing, you're probably getting too much protein. Or you're probably not using the protein that you're getting. We want to teach our bodies to become fat burners. The standard American diet is the quintessential sugar burning diet. It's government uh, approved sugar burning. The, the government and mainstream does not understand this distinction between fat burning and sugar burning. And this is why, the, uh, according to uh, the government, we're supposed to be eating grains and fruits and, uh, and veggies and carbs. Most of our calories are supposed to come from carbohydrates, according to the food plate and the food pyramid, because the government doesn't recognize this distinction. On the other hand, it, while it encourages the, uh, the ingestion of carbohydrates, it discourages uh, the uh, ingestion of fats. It tells you to eliminate, uh, limit your fats. It tells you to, especially to limit your saturated fats. We're still laboring under this illusion that there's something problematic about saturated fats, even though every day another study comes out or another mainstream article comes out that tells us about the importance of butter and coconut oil, which are uh, uh, saturated fats. Eggs are, by the way, another great source of saturated fat. Meat is a source of saturated fat. Saturated fat is good stuff. That same seems like heresy to even say it as I'm saying it. I mean, it doesn't even sound right to say it because I grew up in the 60s and 70s when saturated fat was the bad guy. But via saturated fat, our, uh, we can run our heart more effectively. Saturated fat is, it, it supports the ketogenic diet. Unsaturated fat, by the way, has, you have to be a little bit more careful of. Unsaturated fat is unstable. That's the problem with vegetable oils. That's why sometimes I get into a little bit of trouble here when I support the use of coconut oil and even, essential, even vegetable oils and other health care practitioners, including Dr. Wallach, don't necessarily 
Actually, they're against vegetable oils. They tell you not to use vegetable oils. And I can't disagree with their logic. I just say you got to be careful with vegetable oils. But their logic is the unsaturated fats are unstable. And the saturated fats are stable. So even though we hear lots about it, making sure you're getting your polyunsaturated fats, blah, 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 and never eating the saturated fats, it turns out that, you know, they're both important. No surprise there if you understand how the body works and how nutrition works. So the ketogenic diet's not paleo. You got to be careful with protein. You need protein, of course, but you got to be careful with it. Protein also acts as an appetite suppressant, by the way. And uh, if you're doing protein correctly, It'll help support ketogen the ketogenic diet because it'll be an appetite suppressant, but you just got to be careful with it. Fats, on the other hand, eggs, avocados, fish, great ketogenic foods. Grass-fed dairy is especially ideal. Grass-fed, that's the key right there. The fats that are found in grass make it ideal for ketogenesis. Grass is amazingly, amazingly powerful food. The problem with grass is, all grasses, wheatgrass, barley grass, broccoli grass, grass on your lawn. It's all loaded with nutrition. It's just hard for us to access it. Sprouts are easier to access. That's one of the cool things about sprouts is sprouts are activated grasses. They're awake and their nutrients are much easier for us to access. Otherwise, if we're going to get access to the, the nutrients in grass, we got to go through a cow or a lamb or a goat or some kind of animal that ate the grass. The animals eat the grass and then the nutrients are released. And one of the nutrients that is released from the grass is something called CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. We only talked a little bit about CLA maybe a month or two ago. I haven't talked a lot about it, but CLA is really interesting stuff. It was kind of the flavor of the month, I think, back in the late 1990s, mid to late 1990s. It was really popular among bodybuilders. It was popular for weight loss. That's really where CLA is important, is it's, uh, it's a, a weight loss supplement. Conjugated linoleic acid. It's anti-cancer. It keeps your arteries clean. It's good stuff. It's pro-ketogenic. An article from the journal Lipids, September 1999. Livers from CLA-fed rats produce significantly more ketone bodies. That's a quote. Secre this is another quote, quotes, uh, secretions of cholesterol were consistently lower in the livers of rats fed CLA and was st statistically significant. This dietary CLA appeared to exert its hypolipidemic, meaning blood fat lowering effect in part, at least in part, through an enhanced beta oxidation of fatty acids. That means fat burning. In other words, CLA encourages fat burning, and that's what you're looking for. CLA makes you a fat burner. CLA encourages fat burning. And it's found in all dairy products. It's found in especially grass-fed dairy products. And by the way, it's found in breast milk. Human breast milk is an important source of CLA. Milk, of course, being the ultimate growth and development food. Milk, uh, essentially, the purpose of milk is to encourage the development of the growth of all mammals. And guess what? Milk is loaded with fat, loaded with cholesterol, loaded with saturated fat. Tell that to the next bonehead who tells you you've got to go on a low-fat diet. CLA, you know what? If you want to know what a good health food is and you want to know what we should be eating, look at the components of breast milk. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-1610 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. We're back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 <clears throat> on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. You can also check out our blog at criticalhealthnews.com and uh, pharmacistben.com and sign up to join the Bright Side Ben phone team or Bright Side Pen team off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can purchase Longevity products off the website or by calling 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5%, uh, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, head over to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to purchase any of our bone broth protein, you can go to brightsidehealthproducts.com. Our number today is 844-236-6010. Hang on if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a moment. Got a couple, a couple interesting articles I want to tell you about. From the University of California, San Diego Health Sciences Center, uh, cholesterol levels improve with a healthy, fat-rich diet. How do you like that? 
Researchers report that a meal plan rich in walnuts, high in polyunsaturated fats, has a significant impact on lipid levels for women, especially those who are insulin resistant. Eat more fat, lower your cholesterol. Eating fat is one of the best statin drugs you could ever use, and it's a lot better for you than any prescription drug. I had a talk with a doctor yesterday that kind of surprised me, or shouldn't have surprised me, but he didn't know, he, he, he wanted me to prove to him he wanted me to show him articles and studies that proved that when you take a prescription drug, your body becomes depleted of nutrition. Now, now to me, if you understand how the body detoxifies substances, it just makes perfect sense. You're, you're utilizing your B vitamins for, for detox rather than for the heart. But he thought, well, maybe there's enough B vitamins that it can do both. And I had to go back and forth with this guy, smart guy, nice guy. I had to go back with this, forth with this guy asking him why could it be how could it possibly be beneficial to be to be utilizing b vitamins on detoxification when there's all these other things to use your b vitamins for and especially when we know that when you start using the b vitamins you feel better but it just didn't compute to him because there were no studies or articles that showed that of course there's not going to be a study or article that shows that because you can't prove a negative you can't show a negative but common sense tells you that if you're diverting your nutrients if you're diverting your nutrition, uh, your B vitamins and your nutrients for something that isn't necessary, like detoxification of drugs, for something extra, it's going to come from something else. So anyway, that's the prevailing wisdom. The prevailing logic, anyway, is that for some reason you could take drugs and not get, and, and as long as you don't have a, a blatant side effect, like you took the drug and you keeled over, basically, that the drugs are not problematic and that they can somehow be beneficial. All right, 844 is our number. Lorraine in Canada, what's going on? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I uh, just wanted to give a testimonial, Ben, about your Omega-6 healing cream. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Tell, us, tell awesome. us what happened. Uh, well, my husband has uh, cancer and uh, very advanced, but uh, he his arms are just like full of like blood all over, you know, how they the underneath the skin, the okay. skin's so thin. Okay. And uh, he had fallen about two weeks ago, and uh, of course it just, his skin just peeled off on his arm, and uh, deep, and uh, they, he'd gone into the hospital, they had put a pad on it with some cream, I don't know exactly what it was, and then they said take it off after five days. Um, you know, which we did, and uh, but it just kept oozing and breaking and bleeding and all of that. And same with other parts of his arm. You know, he just has to brush something wow. and it starts bleeding. And so I got out the Omega-6 healing cream, and I put that on, and it's just wonderful. Oh, wow. It's, Thank you, Lorraine. It's been healing it. You know, it's just really, I mean, it's taken a long time because it's uh, so deep and so many of them, but it works wonderfully. Oh, I appreciate you saying that. That's that's yeah. the power of that's the power of nutrition for the skin, as yep. as well as the product itself. Thank you for sharing that. Exactly. I really appreciate that. So I Lorraine. highly recommend it. Oh, I appreciate you saying that. Thanks, Lorraine. Okay. Thanks. You're God welcome. bless you. Have a beautiful day. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You too. Okay. Bye bye. bye. All right, that was cool. Uh, I developed the Truth Omega Six Healing Cream actually for uh, for for burns and for actually it was a, I developed it first for a helicopter pilot who crashed and and fell into a fire. But then plastic surgeons started using it post surgery, post surgery, and for for other people who had burns. And it's really the power of the. It's not me. It's the power of the uh, of vitamin C really and of the Omega Six Healing Cream or of the omega-6 fatty acids. Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. If you have a burn or you have some kind of abrasion or, or some kind of damage to the surface of the skin, stuff really is amazing. Okay, 844-236-6010, Toby in Cincinnati. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hi, how you doing? Doing good. Um, What's going on? I, uh, well, I kind of started a keto diet uh, three weeks, a month ago, and um, just wondered if there's any, I guess, supplements that I guess would be good to take while you're on that diet. Oh my gosh, there's zillions and I'll be talking about it for a while. Um, okay. I, you know, keep listening to the program. I'll give you a couple right off the top, okay. right off the top of my head. Vitamin E is really important. Anytime you up, you uh, increase the amount of fat that you eat, you always want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin E. Vitamin E is nature's okay. fat protector. It protects fats, uh, dietary fats, and it also protects fats in the body, which is why vitamin E is so important for the brain. 
and nobody, nobody, nobody gets enough vitamin E unless you're supplementing because it's hard to find from foods. You got to eat a heck of a lot of sunflower seeds or sunflower oil, which is and wheat germ oil, which are nature's probably the, the most important food sources of vitamin E. But you got to eat a lot of seeds and a lot, drink a lot of oil to get it. So uh, 400 IU to 800 IU, uh, 400 IU is a good place to be if you're healing from something. Okay. 800 IU, but definitely if you're going ketogenic, you want 400 IU. And and vitamin E is a little complicated. We're going to spend some time talking about it because of the different forms of vitamin E. Um, but just just for now, vitamin E is important, and selenium works hand in hand in tandem with vitamin E. So making sure you're getting enough selenium. Selenium also has a fat protecting effect. That's that's what you're looking for when you're going ketogenic is is fat protection. Make sure you're using the ultimate selenium, two to four hundred micrograms uh, of selenium a day. And then uh, it wouldn't hurt you to get, make sure you're getting enough vitamin K. You'll get that from grass-fed dairy, vitamin K. And by the way, uh, Longevity's got a whole line of, of grass-fed dairy products that Jordan formulated, Jordan Rubin formulated. He's not just a bone broth guy. He's a he's a, a di- just a digestive health guru. And uh, he's got a whole line of, of grass-fed dairy products that you can get through Longevity, Amasai, uh, a V. And uh, the, the delicious cheese. And in fact, I should probably talk more about the cheese as part of the, a ketogenic program, uh, the grass-fed cheese that you get from Longevity. Uh, and, and now Longevity also has a, the Keto FX, which is like a protein supplement for folks who are trying to go ketogenic. Uh, carnitine, we're going to talk about that one. Uh, carnitine is very important for helping fats get transported into the burning machinery, the, the, the furnaces, if you will, of a cell. Carnitine acts like a, a little magnet that pulls fats into the into the fat factory or the fat burning factory inside a cell called a mitochondria the the carnitine shuttle they call it so that's important that one's only found in meat although your body can make some carnitine it wouldn't hurt to supplement with a little bit of carnitine um uh, uh, make sure making sure you're using digestive support for fats also bile salts lecithin apple cider vinegar pancre okay. uh, pancreatin uh, anything else did you want to ask me toby i didn't mean to interrupt you yeah i mean it's so far so good you know it's worked out great but uh, well hang on toby i gotta take a break i want to hear your i want to hear your story when we come back if you don't mind hang on i'm pharmacist ben you're listening to the bright side we will take a quick break and come back right after this all right we're back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben toby in cincinnati real briefly tell us about some of your exp- I, I answered your questions correct Anything else you yeah. want to ask me? Yeah, I want to hear just you. real briefly your uh, some of your experiences on the ketogenic diet. Uh, real briefly. Just, I w- um, I, like I said, I seriously started it about a month ago. I guess I'm down, I don't know, about 10 pounds, 10 or 12 nice. pounds so far. Nice. How much do you want to lose? Um, uh, I'd like to lose maybe another 10. Very so, good. Uh, and what are you doing specifically? Just a couple of things um, you're doing. Lots, like eggs just about every morning. For okay. breakfast, so it's eggs, uh, a lot of avocado, nice, a lot of uh, coconut oil, MCT oil. Very um, good. Are you into the keto I burning? Mean, are, are you past the keto flu, as they say, or did you get the keto flu, the, the beginning? kind of getting hints. Of, I still kind of get hints of it every once in a while. I mean, okay. I don't feel bad, but, you know. Uh, well, keep it going, because you're in, now you're into ketosis, so keep it going. You don't want to lose that edge. That's a good job, man. But, um, yeah, it's, um, I can't argue with, you know, like the food's great. Um, it's not like I'm ever hungry. You know, it's not like I don't get enough to eat. And uh, Very nice. It's, yeah, it's worked out Did great. you hear about it? So, you heard about it here or you knew about it heard from it, before? heard about it on your show. Yeah. Good deal. heard about it on your show, and then I read, uh, read a book about it when I was on vacation and started when I came back from vacation. Awesome. Good job, Toby. Thanks yeah. for calling, man. Yeah, thanks. Have a great day. All right, Mike in Florida. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Hey, uh, Mike. Going, Farmers and ben? Hey, Mike. What's up, man? Hey, I was originally calling you to talk about the keto diet, and because uh, I've been on it for for a little while now, but uh, something came up, and I figured I probably could use your help more with this. And uh, my wife, she's kind of has a low blood pressure. We we're checking it earlier today, and uh, it's kind of low. And she's been doing a little bit of keto too, but it's been going on for longer than for it to be the flu. Uh, from the keto, and I mean, she's, she's got a sense of like lightheaded, um, short of breath at times. You know, yeah, that sounds like an adrenal. That sounds like an adrenal issue. Minerals, uh, number one, minerals. That's the first thing to do. Uh, make sure she's getting enough zinc. 
the B, uh, zinc, uh, let's see what else, potassium, sodium, get around the square of V. Get around the beyond organic square of V. That's Jordan Rubin's big thing is potassium to sodium ratio. And both, while both are important uh, for the adrenal glands, well, they're both important for the adrenal glands. Uh, Celtic sea salt and water, in addition to uh, uh, the Beyond Organic products and uh, zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Vitamin C is very important for the adrenal glands. The B complex is very important for the adrenal glands. Uh, is she under? Was she under a severe amount of stress, or is she under a severe amount of psychological stress? I should say. I mean, we have a one-year-old, so you know how that goes. Well, it doesn't matter. It matters like what she, how she responds to it. Is she a Type A person? Right. Is she? That you know, does she yeah, need? She can get stressed out at times. Okay, sure. well, focus that way. Look at it as an adrenal health issue, is first and foremost. Unless she has some other significant degenerative diseases, in which in which case I'd say she needs to focus on the liver. First thing I would do is the adrenal glands. And that was okay. with the with minerals, as well as the B vitamins and vitamin C. Uh, slow deep breathing techniques can sometimes help. Um, she might want to try a little bit of DHEA, small amount of DHEA, 10 milligrams a day. And of course, if she has any digestive health issues or blood sugar problems, you need to correct those. Hypoglycemia can cause problems. Low blood sugar can cause problems, uh, and that's a pre-diabetic state. So making sure that she's keeping her blood sugar stable, and then of course always working on the digestive system and digestive health can be important. But first and foremost, I be looking at it as an adrenal issue okay thank you for your I call appreciate, appreciate it. it i appreciate it mike take care good luck with everything cheryl in georgia welcome to the bright side hi how are you um, i'm good I, 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 well i'm trying to get off my thyroid medication and i'm off of course i got off the statins because doctors got it down to 177 uh, and so i'm what are you on which uh which uh, thyroid medicine are you on synthroid i'm on synthroid and okay. i try to get him if there's just I, I just still feel my um, Kish test, TSH. Your is TSH wrong. test. Those things are all irrelevant. You don't need to pay I, any attention to those. I, they they don't work. Does the T4. He only does shows the T4 on the it blood. It doesn't matter. Miss Cheryl, I want to get you better here. Your numbers have okay. nothing to do with getting you better. The thyroid. Okay. The thyroid is connected to the, there's a couple things with the thyroid, okay? First of all, most causes of, the most common cause of hypothyroidism involves autoimmunity, which is the food, which is food. Autoimmune diseases need first and foremost to be considered food and digestive issues. And Hashimoto's, okay. Hashimoto's thyroid, did he mention that to you, Hashimoto's thyroid, or, or do antibody checks or anything like that? No. Okay. I mean, yeah. That's the number one reason why you'll end up with a thyroid problem. And I'll tell you the number two reason here in a second. For Hashimoto's, you want to work with food. There's a couple of reasons why you want to work with the digestive system. One is because with all autoimmune diseases, one of the major causes of the autoimmunity or the immune reaction is little food particles that get into the blood through a leaky gut. So taking care of leaky gut syndrome is, is the first reason why you want to look at digestive health and food health. The second reason, this is very important, thyroid hormone is turned on in the intestine. So if you've got a messed up intestine or, or messed up microbiome, you're not going to be able to activate your thyroid hormone. So you got to work on digestive health first and foremost. Okay, that means I am. Okay, good. Elimination diet, food diary, fasting, uh, swear V cleanse, anything you could do to focus on digestive health. The ultimate enzymes after meals, that's particularly important for autoimmune diseases. And then also apple cider vinegar after meals. And then also uh, you, uh, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're working with the adrenal glands because the adrenal thyroid link, the adrenal thyroid complex, hyperadrenalism, too much adrenal activity, will ultimately suppress the thyroid. Those are the two major reasons for thyroid issues, digestive issues and adrenal issues. And because the blood sugar system is right between those two, you can throw in blood sugar issues either, and there you have your triangle of disease. And that's how you always want to regard hypothyroidism. And because all degenerative disease is preceded by hypothyroidism, you want to do right. that with everything, but especially yeah. with a thyroid problem. So digestion sounds like you're doing, okay? The second I, thing I is... Say, I'm go ahead. gluten-free and I'm doing the ketogenic. Okay, good. But gluten-free isn't have... enough because there's a million things in flowers that will cause a problem that aren't gluten. So you've got to look for just reactions. Don't go by... You don't, you don't want to go by these you know, gluten-free or 10 bad foods as much as you want to go by your reaction to specific foods and specific okay. uh, elements in flour and in grains and cereals. Even if something's gluten-free, you can still have a problem is what I'm saying. So go I by your reactions. 
I wouldn't touch cereal. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, you, it sounds like you know what you're doing on that front. Second thing is the blood sugar thing, and that is a ketogenic diet will help you. And then the third thing is calm the body down. Now, it'll calm down a little from the digestive and food and blood sugar strategies that you're already practicing, but get on the uh, healthy star pack, getting enough nutrients will calm the body down, making sure you're practicing deep breathing techniques, making sure you're using caloric restriction and intermittent fasting, that will calm the body down. And of course, uh, mental and psychological and spiritual and emotional strategies, those are all important as well. Massage, hot showers, hot tubs, Reiki, meditation, yoga, anything you could do to relax the body, uh, uh, the, the musculoskeletal system of the body will also have a nice calming effect on the adrenal glands and that will support thyroid health too. Of course, uh, minerals uh, like iodine and selenium and sulfur are also particularly important for thyroid and thyroid hormone. All right, I'm going to motivate you. I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much for your call. I hope we helped you out. Uh, Edgar, got a couple minutes here. Real quick, what's going on, brother? Hey, how's it going? Uh, just to let you know, I wanted to say just something positive today. Uh, I used to get uh, some acne on my back on the on the cheeks not a whole lot but enough to to bother me once in a while and the only thing i did was of course i'm taking the tangy tangerine the ultimate enzymes i just started taking the, 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 the colonate nice it's gone ah, i love funny it thing is, the funny thing is that uh, i did before you you stated because that you know you always just and that's and it's kind of and it's and it's kind of easy I stopped taking the, the zinc picolinate and it yep. came back. Isn't that amazing? Taking it. Yeah. That's it. You know? That's so thank amazing. Thank you very much. Okay? Oh, thank you, Edgar. I appreciate you, it. God bless you, my friend. Uh, zinc is ridiculously important. I, I was talking earlier about how vitamin E is important. It's one of those nutrients that we just can't get enough of for, through food. Well, zinc is pretty much the same way, although it is easier to get zinc from food. But almost everybody is going to be deficient in zinc unless you're eating a lot of oysters and a lot of meat and a lot of nuts. And the best way to get your zinc is to spend two or three cents a day and get yourself on zinc picolinate. Now, you can't take too much zinc if you're listening. Edgar, you will actually cause breakouts if you take too much zinc. But if you take just enough, 50 milligrams a day, and I like the picolinate better, especially if you've had a problem with the sulfate, zinc sulfate or zinc gluconate forms, and some people will have a, a, a get an upset stomach from those forms, you want to go picolinate, zinc picolinate. And by the way, I have a new acne supplement that should be out here in a couple of weeks, Blemish Repair Complex as part of my Truth Skin Health line, and that's going to have the zinc in it, it'll have vitamin B5, it'll have N-acetylcysteine, it'll have selenium, and it's specifically designed for folks who are dealing with acne, and that'll be out here in a couple of weeks, and we'll let you know all about it as uh, as uh, the the, uh, the uh, days and weeks progress. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my websites, brightsideben.com and physical and, and uh, pharmacistpen.com, and you can also check out brightsidehealthproducts.com if you want to take a look at our bone broth protein and truth treatments.com for our truth skin health products. Have an awesome, beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 